You will now create the cylindrical component of the part. This will involve similar steps to those taken before. A sketch of a circle will be drawn and the extruded boss base feature will be added to make it into a cylinder. Click on the front face of the model and click Extruded Boss Base. You are then redirected to the sketch toolbar automatically. Switch to the front view and then select the Circle Sketching tool. Click and drag to create the circle. Now you need to set its diameter by using the Smart Dimension tool. Click the circle and click once more to place the dimension label. Set the diameter to 70 millimeters and click the green check mark. Now center the circle on this face. Still using the Smart Dimension tool, select the top edge of the face and then select the circle. Move the cursor away from the model and click once more. Set the value to 60 millimeters. The circle is horizontally centered and we will now vertically center it. To do this, click the left edge and then click the circle. Move the cursor away from the model and click once more. Now set this dimension to 60 millimeters as well. The circle has turned black and the status bar indicates that the sketch is fully defined. Click the green check mark to apply the changes. Click Exit Sketch and the Boss Extrude Property Manager appears in the left pane. A preview of the extrusion appears as well. Under Direction 1, make sure the end condition is set to Blind, and then set the depth to 25 mm. Click the green check mark to apply the changes. Notice that Boss Extrude 2 appears in the Feature Manager design tree. This is where you can make modifications to the cylindrical component of this part.